Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, so we're gonna continue doing, uh, you know, replacing all the moments and a, a resultant force at a specified point. All right, but now we're in 3D. So let's see. So what we wanna do just like we did before is get our, you know, our resultant force. So let's put everything in Cartesian coordinate or Cartesian, uh, you know, uh, notation. So F1, we have minus 300i, boom, uh, 150 j, and then plus 200 k. And F2, okay, it's minus uh, well, 0i, zero 0j, zero minus 450k. Uh, okay. And for this, we're just going to, uh, you know, add up F1 plus F2. Okay. So i's with i's, with I's j's with j's, and k's with k's. So we'll call it F, FR. And because 3D, we're just going to find the resultant. Okay. We don't, we're not going to... Uh, do the coordinate, the principal coordinate angles. So minus 300 plus zero, so minus 300 i. Okay. Then 150 plus zero. Well, that's just 150 j. And last but not least, we have 200 minus 450. So it's minus. 250 okay okay so uh, let's see so that's gonna be the resultant force that that we're gonna just slide over and put on O we're gonna just tack it on to O so it's gonna be you know uh, let's see it's gonna be like this minus 200 I if you look at the the picture in, in green I'm drawing Minus 300i plus 150j, so it's you know minus 150j, and then so going in the positive direction, and then minus 250k. So it's going to just draw an arrow straight down, right? It doesn't look 3D, but it but it should be. So it's pointing. So if let's say the xy plane was your a table. It's pointing beneath the table, okay? And let's see, so, uh, yeah, so it's pointing beneath the table, so this negative component pushes it down. It, out, it beats out this 200K component here, okay? So we know it's gonna be pointing in a negative K direction. And then this negative 300I is pushing it, you know, so it, you know, towards uh, the negative i direction, negative x direction. So that's uh, how it should look. Okay. But you should just be satisfied with this right here. All right. So now let's keep going. So now we want to do the couple moment. Okay. So now for the moment, all I want to do is um, all I want to do is find the distance to each of the forces, okay? So what's the distance from O to B, okay? What's that distance? Well, it's only gonna be, cause I'm gonna, so I'm finding the distance because I wanna take the moment, okay? I wanna take the moment about my point O over here in green, okay? So I need the distance from O to B, because that's where F1 is acting. So that's gonna be, it looks like minus 1.5 I, right? So uh, negative 1.5 I. Then uh, it looks like two meters in the J direction, positive J, so all this. And then now you gotta hop up uh, one meter in order to get to B. So plus 1k. 
okay? And now what's the distance from O to, uh, let's say, uh, I guess this, I don't know, let's call this point two, this green dot that I just drew on the elbow of the diagram where F2 is acting. So you could take the distance um, to the point um, to you know to the point where the force two is acting on, but if you keep extending its line of action, it intersects the y-axis at point A. Okay, so you only need to take the moment. I mean, the, you you only need to take the distance from O to A in this case. Okay. Um, if you do the right hand rule, because it intersects the y, it's not going to contribute any moment about the y. It's parallel to z. Okay. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so it's not going to contribute any moment. Let's see. Oh, sorry, it is in the z. So yeah, it's not going to contribute any moment in the z direction. Okay, so we're only left with the x direction. It's going to make this whole structure rotate about the x axis. Okay, so the distance from O to A is just 2j. I try to give you guys a little explanation on like, uh, you know, um, why why uh, we're going to do it about A instead of doing it, you know, more like the typical way, which is just like find the distance from the pivot point to where the force acts on, okay? Um, okay, so that's ROA. Sweet, so now we just need to take the moment. Let's take M1, okay? M1 will be ROA, or no, sorry, ROB. Let's just, so it's minus 1.5 I. Oh, and okay, I'm gonna do this with the determinant. So it's gonna be I, J, K. And then the distance, one negative 1 1.5, 2, and 1. And then the force 1 is minus 300, uh, 150, and 200. OK, and then M2 is a little easier. M2 is just going to be ROA, which is 2J. crossed with the force 2, which is minus 450 uh, K. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, the first one, if we do J cross K, okay, J cross K gives you a positive I. Okay, so it's going to be 200 times minus 450. And then our J cross K term, okay? And this equals I. So it gives us a, you know, makes it rotate about uh, the I direction. So minus 900 I. Okay. All right, now that we have that one, Let's do this top one up here. Okay, so in the i direction, we're gonna have two times two hundred. All right, minus uh, one times one fifty. So that's just one fifty. Let's just make these brackets. All right, switch directions. Minus j. And let's do, so it's minus 1.5 times 200, okay, and then minus, uh, minus 1 times negative 300, so it becomes positive 300 here, okay, and then J, sorry, K, K, uh, 
k direction, we have negative 1.5. And if you're having trouble with the determinant, uh, look back in my previous videos, and I have explained how to, you know, different ways to calculating this determinant. Just in case you're just jumping into this problem, negative 1.5 times 150 uh, minus doom doom. So two times negative 300, but it's plus. I mean negative negative plus 600. Here, okay. Let's see. This is 400 minus 150. So that's 250. Then minus 1.5 times 200 plus 300. Oh, we get zero. Let's say plus zero j. Okay, and last but not least, the k. Let's do minus 1.5 times 150 plus 600. So plus 375. Okay. Okay. So now my resultant moment, okay, that I'm gonna tack on to O is M1 plus M2. M1 plus M2. Alright. And uh, so yeah, so let's do I's with I's, J's with J's, and so on. Okay. So uh, over here we have Minus 900, so minus 900 plus 250, plus 250, so that's minus 650, oops, sorry, not K, it's in the I direction, uh, 0 J, 0 J, and then plus 375, Okay, all right, and yeah, so, you know, in your final drawing, you, you would probably put uh, your, like if you wanted to show your professor how smart you are, you'd probably just, uh, you know, this is how you draw your moment vector, so you say like, okay, minus uh, 650, and let's see, this is rotating, this direction okay and then 0 and then 350k so you, you know something like this and then counterclockwise because it's positive okay so these are your this would be mx and then over here will be mz okay and then of course you tag along also your resulting forces here that you found initially okay so this is how you do these in 3d all right uh, leave me a comment question concerns on how to you know uh, maybe if you're stuck somewhere I can help you all right thanks guys um, yeah if you have questions let me know take it easy